I'm just gonna put continue. All right, welcome guys back to Beat the Game in collaboration with Step into the portal. I have my friend Brent and Hello. myself. Steve. <laughs> Oops, sorry. And uh, yeah, so we are trying the rush strategy versus Ronin using uh, David's uh, Sutcliffe's uh, decks. Uh, so far, we uh, when we first started, there was a couple cards we weren't too sure about, so we modified the decks. Uh, just a slight bit, uh, but we have been one in six so far. Um, and then, so we trying to analyze like his play by play with the board, uh, this, the way his board was set up, uh, what kind kind of configuration we uh, we are looking at, and yeah, so we right now, so we're gonna try two more attempts this morning, and we're gonna go, we're gonna follow his decks exactly the way he posted it in his. Um, in, in, in his uh, in his post because uh, me the changes I had made is I had removed um, Triskelion and added one blaze of glory and I had removed Kate Bishop to add uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales uh, those were the two changes I had made and then Brent had made a few extra changes what did you make I made a bunch and um, that second game that we didn't record where we won, we went all in, we won on turn three. So I felt like they were good changes towards really ramping up the damage for Gamora. But then we haven't been able to win since. So I have completely reverted everything back. I have no surprise attacks. I have no counter attacks. And I put in three multitasking, which is what he had originally. So I think our focus now, more than just damage turn one and two, is going to be threat removal and allies. And then damage comes turns three and four, from what I understand. Yeah, I, I think that's probably what it what it is. Yeah, because right now we were, the way we were playing, we weren't surviving by turn. But at the end of, like, if we didn't die turn one to multiple attacks, we were right. dying by turn. We, were, we weren't surviving a third turn. Like and the, turn one fanaticism is a wipe. There's no coming back from turn one fanaticism. Yeah, no. There, we, we can't make it. There's just there's an, there, the deck doesn't have an answer for it. So it's just, I mean, at some point you're playing the odds of the cards, you know? Yeah, exactly. Well, if I have, no, the only answer is bad boy. But that's not yeah, even a strategy. That's true. That's, that's the only survival I have yep. to, to that. All right, so let's uh, let's shuffle up. Let's, uh, let's see if we can... Uh, Let's see if we can get something going here. Yeah. <laughs> but again, we are one in seven. So there is no yeah. way. And this is this is his decks now. Like like I said, this is and then we're trying to do this like he, it would be him playing. Now again, unless I we're think you super... went too ally heavy. I know it's funny because I was telling you not to play the allies in the beginning. But I think one or two out like I think when you have the um Sliding shots, you have to play them. Yeah, because I, like I said, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand the how he got to where he was on turn one. Like, so that, I think, I think the key is if you have sliding shots, you need to be pulling the weapon. If and if I have stuns, we need to be pulling the weapon. Yeah. All right. So one um, right, nowhere. And then I think, uh, I think we just each need to try to get one ally down to block for us when we draw extra attacks. He didn't well, seem to be the... canceling attacks as much. Yeah, maybe. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I have double sliding shot. I'm going to go get a gun. But I have no allies. So there you go. See? Well, I had 50, pitch I had 50... all your other cards for your allies. Pitch your strength in numbers. Uh, pitch your did. bad boy. I already did. Oh. Well, do you want to shuffle again? No, no. I have a, I have a daring escape, and I have something else. So hopefully, I can get one ally out. All right. Well, I've got two I allies. Slides. I don't think I need two allies. I don't think I need Groot that bad, do I? No, he's a good blocker. Who's the other guy? Oh, Neds. No, oh, Neds, Neds is... is very good. I have these skilled strikes, but again, that doesn't help me remove threat. I have a forward momentum. I've never played it. I could acrobatic move and forward momentum. Well, Nebula gets your uh, yeah, and that's just five threat, right? 
Yeah. The question is if I hold these skilled strikes or if I draw for a double resource. I I think you pitch him. If you're if you're if if from what we see, he's you're mostly threat removal. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You got it. And you All got right. two doubles. All right. So I'm gonna smooth talk a gutsy move on top. I'm gonna draw for and my I get event. an ally. Or at least I got I have Hulk on huh? top. I'm just drawing for my event because it helps us set up the turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So skilled tactician. No, I mean, it doesn't have a name. All right, so I am going to flip, get an encounter card for the elemental gun. And see, this is where the math is weird because, okay, so now I have two elemental, everything costs three, and I don't know what I can play here. So do I remove threat? Oh, no, that's your job. No, you remove three right, threat. I'll use strength. You remove three threat, and then you're ready, right? All right, because I'm okay. So I'll I'll do three damage and remove his tough. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then I will remove the three threat. I will get an extra encounter card, uh, which is this. And then I will punch for another three. Why is my camera weird? I, it's not focusing on my cards. All right, there you go. And then. So I, I either sacrifice Haw I either sacrifice my bad boy to play a Hawkeye and again and then I keep two sliding shots for next turn. Yeah. Um, I think that's what I'll do. I'll I'll try that. Okay. And then I'll keep the weapon because then I can I can uh, I can get the double wet. I can get at least sliding shots for like nine. Can you use the Milano? It doesn't get. It does doesn't do anything. Okay. All right. I will play Nebula. I don't no. know what I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, drop kick is a weird. Well, option. Keep the cross counter dead. No, no, don't get the drop kick. You get something that's cheapy. Cross counter, I could then acrobatic move and forward momentum. Although I don't know that I need forward momentum anymore. No, because the Milano can remove three from the main. Right. And then I remove, and then you have three from multitasking. And I can't clobber oh, I just because use Milano I played from her. So I think drop kick might we'll be clear my the move. area draws you another card. Yeah, but drop kick would we'll just stun the him. Area draws you. Well, then we have. Because then why why are we using the weapon? What weapon? No, he still has his weapon. I didn't take it off. Oh, I mean, I can take it, or you can take it. Well, there's no, there's no. That's what I'm saying. Is like. If I'm going to do that, I'll do it next turn when I can actually do double sliding shots and at least it, it pays for itself. Okay. I'm, that's, what, that's, that's what I'm seeing here. I'm, like, yeah, I'm I trying don't, to figure this out. I have a red double resource and my only cards are clobber and drop kick. So. Oh, yeah. Eh? So that's those weird. are my options. So I could go get a clear the area instead to draw another card. Uh, yeah, because your multitasking can do so something I can, else. I can just do the cross counter, like you said. It's fine. And it's, and it's good for flip, next turn. Yeah, I flip, and then I play multitasking. Ugh, no, that math doesn't work out. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does? Yeah, because you start with a, you have an acrobatic move, right? Acrobatic move. Yep, deal two to him. Remove a threat here. Yeah. Then I multitask. Exactly, and that removes two from the crisis and then two with the other one. And then I deal damage. And then you, you go four damage, yeah. And then you still have the... And the Milano removes this. 
Yeah, and then there's, so there's no threat. I don't think you need the forward momentum to keep it. Nope. If it was a decisive blow, I would have been yeah, great, but. Yeah. Which so I guess I could have drawn ally. more too. <laughs> huh? Which I guess I could have taken as well, I just realized. Yeah, instead of the cross count. It don't matter. Yeah. All right. Did, because you did play a thwart event, so it would have made sense. Do you yeah. want to just do it? Because you know what? It's not like we're... Because you're just pitching cards at this point, right? Yeah. So it's instead so, of cross counter... Yeah. I take... Um, decisive blow. Exactly. And then the Milano, instead of using the Milano to remove threat, you remove... you. You deal the seven damage. Yep. So and then I think you, And then, so that is, I think, the best we've seen so far. And uh, it, was that your first attack event? No, I played acrobatic move. Oh, you did play the acrobatic move. Okay, cool, yeah. So <laughs> that, that, that was pretty good. All right, so we got him down to 15 health. We got allies out. All right, and did you reshuffle your entire deck? Don't I reshuffle it from Nebula? Yeah, 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 no, but you didn't reshuffle the entire deck, right? We're, I think that I, I shuffle my discard pile. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, I didn't know if you, because I couldn't see a discard pile. Like, oh, did you reshuffle your... Okay. <laughs> he scared me. I was like, wait, I read the card. It says shuffle. Yeah, you did. Oh my God. And I got two double resources and a Nick Fury. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, let's see if we survive. All right. He's adding four threat. He's attacking you for two cards. All right. Hawkeye. An additional card. So plus five. He attacks you for nine. All right. That's done. He's attacking me for a single card. Am I throwing Nebs in front? Probably. Yeah. Or, yo, you have the cross counter, right? Oh, I do have a cross counter. Should I use it? I. It's up to you. I don't have much I can do next turn. Then don't. Then just throw Nebula in front then. All right, it is six damage. All right, then cards. One, two, three. Why do I have four? Um, you played a Daring Escape, and you played your gun for free. Oh, you're right. All right. Yeah, I, I cheated. All right, good. He advances plus three with a zero. That's two advances. No, no. Two boost cards. Plus three, six. Never mind. It looked so good. So that's at 12. Because remember, every time he activates against me, it's... Commando, cannonade, blindside. I get stunned, right? That's the one? Yep. Yeah, yeah just I'll get stunned. Superior tactics. He takes the stone from you early. Okay, whatever. All right, passes to me. We didn't use the Milano. No, that's actually good. And I got nothing. <laughs> really? I can yeah, drop kick a... him. Yeah, that's good. So uh, I remove. No, you're going to remove the weapon. Yeah, because I'm going to get three encounter cards this turn. Yeah. So I'm going to go down to eight. Get an encounter card. All right. I will drop kick him using the Milano. Yeah. He's down to 11, and he's stunned. I draw a card. It's a double resource. Oh, I remove a threat, which I think is just here, right? Yeah. Um, then I have a forward well, momentum. Never, Do you want me to clear some? What? No, no, no. We can't remove his stone, so that's going to be annoying, but I don't think it matters. Okay. So then I can play a forward momentum to get rid of five threat. What's your other card? Keen Instincts. When, isn't it better to play the Keen Instincts and then Ford Momentum? You tell me how. Oh, oh, okay. But okay, what? What did you do? What did you use the Milano for? To be able to stun him because I didn't have three punches. But you do. 
because whatever you're using for the Milano, the Milano puts the keen instinct down and then you have your three physicals. Got it. So then it, it comes out to the same. Boom. Forward momentum removes have... five. And then I hit him for two? Or uh, yeah. Right down. Um, What's your, is your card going to be 11? It's, bum, 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 bum. how many encounter, wait, wait, I'm going to have, how many encounter cards? I'm going to have two. You removed one. You're going to play something for free. You're only going to have two, correct? Yeah, perfect. That's nine plus Nikiri is two. And then I can use the gun. Yeah. I punch him. He's at nine. Oh, he's at nine straight up. All right. Perfect. So you're exhausting, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of my, uh, my stun. I'm going to play four for Nick Fury to draw three. One, two, three. Oh, and I have a Maria Hill, but I can't use that. And I have a Blaze of Glory. All right. And then I am going to, uh, for free, sliding shot, deal nine. All right. That flips him. So I got two encounter cards. He's at 50. 50. He's tough, and he plays superior tactics. Oh, he's already, already it's already out. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go one, two, and put a Maria Hill out, draw a card, use the power of leadership to get rid of the, uh, the three damage and the tough. All right. I can remove superior tactics and then we can steal that stone again. Yeah. Or I remove six from the, or I remove four from the main. Cause you have a good Oh no, move. I can't remove from the main. You know what? what? Here, I'll remove two from those tactics. Oh, oh, I just and had, then I'll, oh, I removed five before, hold on. It's this side where we no, can't I remove have the, it? Why can't we remove from the main? No, 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 the, because I have a patrol guy. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Yeah, you're good. So, uh, and then Nick Fury's going to do two damage uh, to him. All right, he takes a retaliate. So, Maria Hill removes two from the, the tactics. So, then you can, if you have a cross counter, you can get rid of that. And then with the damage, we can steal the stone. So, I have a set mm -hmm. the pace. Oh, which removes the threat. Just here? Uh, might as well. This is round two or three? This is round two. This is round two, eh? Okay. So if we survive... Hey, let's... Uh... <laughs> huh? If we survive, we're in better shape. <laughs> yeah, all right. So I have... Two lo did you want to go down? Would you, would you rather... Would you want to go down this turn or do you want to nope, stay you got you got two blockers. So the, the deal is we stay up, right? Yeah. All right. So one, there's the helmet. Three. I think if oh, we survive this. Of glory. I think All if right. we survive this, we flip down next turn. All right. And I have the blaze of glory. So that is very, very cool. Going to nine. I can stunned against me. Uh, then he's attacking you for a single card. Nick? Oh yeah, because yeah, so uh Nick Nicky Nick Nick. So he's attacking you for seven. <laughs> and I'll take one, is it one or two of that guy? Two. All right, so I'll go Did down. Did you to take six. a retaliate damage when you used your gun? No, I did not. So I'm down to five. I did forget that. I did put it on Nick Fury though. All right. And then cards. Yeah. You stand accused, cancel it, or block. Uh, I, do you have an ally? Nope. No way. Eh? No. All right. Maria Hill. All right. Plus two, stun. Caught off guard, gets rid of my keen instincts. Okay. He gets the weapon back. That's fine. You get a private, take a damage. 
Down to four. And the ever fun under fire. All right. So wait, wait, wait. Can we cancel that? Is it just a? Is it just a, Is does it just cancel one effect? Cancel, cancel the cards the card? when revealed effect. All right. That sucks. So now that we have, we still have to deal with two. Unfulfilled destiny. Okay. And there's the armor. Uh, and then we lose. Is that the, the armors we lose, right? Uh, it's tough. We got to deal 45 damage minus one per attack. Unless you're playing double sliding shots. I have one. Well, what's the, what, does we, what do we need to take for that? Three of the same resource. And I don't have that. I have it. But then I can't do anything unless I use the Milano. We haven't used it. All right, so... I can play here's... Hulk and remove the armor. Hulk and remove the armor? I, I think it's good. Let me draw my event. Set the pace. But you're first, so I can't remove the armor till my turn. Because why? you? Oh, yeah, because it's a hero stuff, right? I'm down, yeah. All right. So I can I have Nova Prime, which kills one of those guys. But you can flip down this turn. This is the turn we could flip down. But you don't really need to kill those guys. Okay, because I also have my helmet. But then, do we do Blaze of Glory? Um, I just have Rocket or Cosmo, and I can't attack. You have any allies? I have, I could, I could have Nova Prime that kills one of these guys for free. That's the thing. So you Nova, so you're saying Nova Prime, Blaze of Glory and your helmet. Is that what you're thinking? Mm, well, the helmet is basically useless at this point. Yeah. If you don't get it turn one, it, there's no point of me keeping it because I'm not staying in hero form. Right. So then it's a matter so, of playing your sliding shot, right? Yeah. So if I... Deal myself. So maybe you save blazing blaze of glory for turn four, and we try to get allies out. I we could try that. Let's do all right. That. So so let's say I do all right. So before I do, so I am going. If I can't punch, that's the problem. I can't thwart and I can't punch because of patrol. Because I have four health. So that is. Uh, uh, I can't do it too often. I can do it. I just can't do it too often, or else I'm gonna die. Well, you could ready after you punch. Then when you flip, you could heal. I could. Uh, so this is what I can do. Let's see. Let's see how I play this. All right. How many blazes of glory did I see? There's two in the deck, and I only have one left. So, so that means that's a card that we have enough. How much damage do we need to do now? We're at forty-five. So 45 damage is what we need to do. We're on turn three. You want to maximize your sliding shot. But your other two yeah. sliding shots are gone, or you have one more? I have... I've used one. Okay, so there's one more in the deck. So blaze and sliding shot are what you're playing next turn. And caught off guard is gone. You're not going to lose your gun. Yeah, okay. that's, the, that's the good one. All right, and I can't remove threat from the main. So I could remove the, the, the thingamabobber that says we can't remove. The stone, then we, we flip down and we take it? Yeah. Makes sense. You think? Yep. Because then he's not attacking for that much? Yep. So you remove that. Then right. you ready? I'll ready, daring escape, which is a gutsy move. Which I'm trying to, I'm debating if I just don't, if I use element gun, or do I use Nova Prime with two cards and then use my Blaze of Glory? Oh, no, we have the Milano still, right? Can you, sliding, you, can you sliding shot and Nova Prime or no? No. So maybe I keep Nova Prime. Yeah. I do sliding shot for free now. Yeah. 
I guess you could gutsy move. Oh, you can't. No, I can't. Because we know the main is going up, and we you already saw get, the advance. You got to get right? rid of his weapon, right? You're getting rid of his weapon. And then that me that then that brings me down to two health. And yep. then you're gonna have okay. to heal. And then I have a nut. All right. So two health. And then I will take a third encounter card and play sliding shot for free. Yep. Which is ten damage. Which is doing how much? How much? Eleven minus one. Yeah, so doing 10 damage. So that brings him down to 30? 35. 35. And All then right. you're flipping down to heal? Yeah, I can, I can get rid of... I, I, have, I can remove 8 from Cannonade. Yeah, I guess but I'm not worth, keeping Blaze of Glory. I guess it's worth it. Because then that's, that's, a, that's a plus 1. Yep. Or... I have the three mental here, and you don't have to get rid of it. Ah. And then I lose Star. I, I lose Nova Prime though, but I do keep Blaze of Glory. Yeah. So is your turn more efficient than my turn? Um. If I pitch three, let's just say it was these three, then I'm basically just playing Hulk. That's my turn. Okay. Okay, but if you're not... But if I don't, then some form of clear the area probably won't make sense. So then I'm clobbering. I have no card. Oh, I, I have a card draw if I clear the area, which I don't think I'm doing. So it feels like Hulk is a play, but if we're going to play Blaze of Glory, I don't think Cosmo is much better, right? No, no, Cosmo is... Yeah, Cosmo, yeah, but he's three damage, yeah. But so, so is Hulk if I just play him, right? Because you have Rocket as well? Yeah. So I well, could get I could get these two down and have okay. two allies for next turn. That's that could be good. Um otherwise it's like a set the pace to deal it's like a clobber and a set the pace and put Hulk down, which is gonna be four, although then I'm taking two damage, although I'm at ten, I haven't taken damage yet. Yeah, did you wanna risk going up? Or oh, I didn't even think of that. So I could just put my allies out, and you you stay up, and then maybe we don't lose the threat. <laughs> um, I mean, this is only going to go to twelve. So okay, so okay, well, that's so then good. It's, so the he's going to get the draw against one of us. Oh, you have the stone now, right? Uh, do I? Oh yeah, I do. Um, so he's going to have to draw against one of us. And then the second person will just be three, four, I, and then two here, five, six. I mean, it's going to be an eight plus a draw. We saw two advances, or was that the previous game? We saw two advances. I, I don't think we lose the threat. So then it's just a matter, can we deal 35 damage? Okay, so here we go. So I will then pitch the three, and you try to bring him down as low. I will flip down, recover, go to five. And hopefully, and then I have at least a six card hand and I have the blaze of glory. So if you don't get exhausted and I don't get exhausted, we're good. So I think I don't, I don't flip up and I just play Hulk and Cosmo, right? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I also have the Milano you, to remove three threat or to hold set the pace. What does set the pace do? It's just remove Sets the up decisive people. blow. But I already played a decisive blow, so it's probably not worth it. All right. So, yeah. But the thing is, if you do go down, are you up or down now? I'm down. Oh, so did you see what we, your top card was? Yeah, it was set the pace. I drew it, like, way before you took your turn. Oh, okay. Okay. So I was going to say. And that's – because how many mentals in your deck? Uh, Six that I added. One – Oh, no, three that I added. It's just the three clear the areas. And how many did you see? One. Okay, so odds are it's a clear the area. Okay. So we no, don't no, want to no. use I got a hole. very thick deck. So do you want to, you want to risk Hulk? Yep. 
All right. Punch for three. Plus two. All right, so five damage. All right, but that's good. 30, and then it's worth Cosmo for one or get rid of a threat? Just get rid of a threat. I can get rid of four well, he, threat. Does that help us at all? Not really, right? Uh, yeah, it does. It actually does. Okay, so then I'll say event with Cosmo, and it's a resource. So he takes a damage. Well, he takes a damage. All right, don't matter. All right, cool. All right. All right, so I have... All right, so I did not get my uh, sliding shot, which is kind of sad, but I did get the blaze, I did get a Drax, and I did get an iron fart. I drew two clear and... areas. <laughs> oh, wow, so they were coming. I knew they were coming. <laughs> Are you still an alter ego? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? All right. And I'll be able to make the call for Maria Hill as well. All right, so it's right, Bla so Blaze, Drax. These guys are going to get plus two, so that's going to be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Your guy is five. Tw that's 24 plus our events, so we should have it. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so that's going to go to nine, then he's going to scheme against you. Yeah. For three plus two cards. If. Uh, double piercing plus four, five, six. It doesn't yeah, matter. It just flips, right? Yeah, it flips. Oh, and he takes the stone. I didn't account for that. Yeah. And then we can't remove threat anymore from that. Yeah, it's fine. We're winning on this turn or we're not winning. <laughs> then we're adding two from your minions. And then he's sch scheming for one boost. One boost against me. It's a zero, so that's four. So that goes to eight. Nope, it's plus one. Remember, Kennedy. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So it goes to nine. Nine out of 20, right? Yep. All right, and then one, two, three encounter cards. First one is an assault. Here goes the surge. Next one is his weapon. Next one is fanaticism, which actually doesn't matter. Next one is pre private, doesn't do anything. Pre private, pincer maneuver. Master plan just explodes. Doesn't this, matter. Right? Yeah. Doesn't matter. All right. And last one is banishment. Oh, crap. Lose your gun I, or exhaust. I don't have any sliding shots. So gotcha. maybe, maybe losing my gun, but I might draw it because two, four, six, eight, ten. It's one of these 11 cards. Am I risking it? I mean, what's your health at? Five. So you can deal five, right? You don't need health to deal damage. And you're no. only dealing two, and you can't take the stone anyway. So I think no. exhausting is better. You think? What can you do? You're thinking if you draw um, your other? No, because I have the blade. Oh, so right, right, right. So your gun is spend a resource for three damage, but you are deal four damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Get rid of the gun. Yeah. I guess the so sliding shot the is the part that kills us, but I think we already have the damage, right? Yeah, I think so. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the call. I'm gonna make the call for Maria Hill so we both get the draw. Okay. Oh, and I'm gonna do my ability. There's a I, hate, I hate that my ability has no name. So I have to say I'm gonna do my ability. Clobber, and then I draw a double resource. Oh, well, there you go. I think we have the damage. Yep. Oh, is it me? Yeah, you're, you're first. Oh, that's where I'm getting so confused. I'm waiting for you to go. All right, I will flip up and clobber for three. That's Don't forget your retaliation. 27. I have 10 health, so... Um, can you blaze or is it a hero action? It's a hero action and I'm an alter ego. So that super slows us down. Breathe. So I can't attack with all mine. Well, it's only, it's only two damage from Cosmo. Oh no. And it's, it's two damage from you yeah. as well. Yep. So it's minus four damage. All right. Uh, so then after I play clobber, I remove a threat. It doesn't matter. 
Um, oh, but you get the stone. I can take it from him? Yep. We can't remove threat while he has the stone, but Got we re remove the superior tactics, yeah, which yeah. means we can take it. So, yeah, yeah we're I good. See it. You see right. it? Do I bother to play drop kick using the Milano? Probably not. There's no point. Oh, why didn't you play your conditioning room? Or did you just draw into it? Oh, you're totally right. I should have played it. Just go back down and take the, the last event because it's, again, it's a, and you need a card to do it. I think that clear the area is the, what you get rid of. Endurance. Oh, I was going to say clear the area because what are you going to clear? What do I need endurance for? Living? Yeah. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. That's a take back. We know. All right. Uh, and then I just get my bottom most event. Yeah. Which, it's whatever it is. Acrobatic move. Okay. Well, it's, it's two damage. damage. Yeah. All right. So I think I just clobber again. This is the tricky part. I mean, I guess I can hold the cross counter. If I play drop kick, I could draw for another card, but I might be wasting the Milano that you could use more effectively, right? Well, here's the thing. Uh, so I'm going to play Drax for free. And then I'm going to play two to play Ironheart, which is going to draw me one final card. And then if I have that extra card, I get to play Blaze of Glory. And then I'll have three allies on the board. So I will play, um, I don't know, do I hold my cross counter in case he has like three damage left? I guess so, right? Yeah. It, All right, I will play Clobber again to deal three more. I also attacked him. I'm down to seven health. Um, then I will play an Acrobatic Move. So he's down to 19 and then I just have Endurance and cross counter left. I think I, just use the dog for one and E dies. Yep. Uh, do I have to do his ability? Yeah. All right, event. It is an event, so he doesn't die. Yeah, he does. He takes a retaliate. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I was going to say, why don't you discard it from the villain's deck instead of yours? Yeah. <laughs> but it's. I I'm didn't just, think about it. It's uh, fine. Is 18 damage? You don't want me to hit with Hulk? Oh, yeah. Hit with Hulk. Okay. It's, we all take a damage. So four and, all right, so four damage. I'm down so to you got to do 14. I just need to do 14, right? Yep. And I've got a cross counter if we need to win on the <laughs> follow-up turn or whatever. All right. All right. So I am and going. you have the Milano. All right. I'm going to sneak attack with Pill, which is a element gun which is the other one, which I don't need. All right, I'm going to flip up. All right, I'm going to use uh, free to Drax. Give me an encounter card. I'm going to go two for Iron Fart and then draw a card. And then I'm going to use the Milano and Hawkeye to play Blaze of Glory. All right, I'm going to punch for four, punch for five. Ten. He's down to five. Punch for three. He's down to two. And punch for three. Woo! It's a win. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I did do that one take back on the last turn. It don't matter. But it didn't change anything. No, because you actually had a, an extra card. So it doesn't really matter. But still. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So this All was right. our, <laughs> and that, you know what sucks is we used his decks and we won. No, but we no, lost the first that's, one. that's fair. He did a great job building these decks. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had a better plan, too. It was a little more long-term than what I was thinking. You know, and this was four turns, right? It was survival. four turns? Four turns. So it was just that survivability was the key. With the so allies. this is like, what are the factors? We didn't get fanaticism turn one. Right. We did get the armor, and we removed it. So that was reasonable. That was good. We, we didn't also, have a surge fest. We didn't get a surge fest of like 10 of them in a row. So that right. was also very, very prominent. And then what was the last one? The last one was... We did get a single lieutenant this game, right? We got one. I got one guard. Yeah. So There's only two. Not too bad. There's only two, but we got, we got them once. 
I don't then, know if we did get him this game. He's not in the discard pile. Yeah, yeah, we got the we got I got the guard. I think it was one of the first ones I used my sliding. I think shots. that was the first game. Oh, was it the first game? I think so. There's there's there isn't one in here. So both of them are still in the deck, in the villains deck. Yes. All right. So what did we do different that we didn't do? We did stun him a couple times. We stunned him. We, we played slow. We didn't do a lot of damage the first two turns. The damage was all turns three and four. Okay. And it, again, I, I, was, I was hesitant on this, but it did work this turn. It, yep. And again, we, we played seven times our first. Eight or nine times. I can't remember it, if we did two in every session. Yeah. We, play, we played three on camera. That's six. And then two prize, either eight, or we did one session where we played three games. I can't remember if we wiped really fast and then played two more. All right, so, I'm, I'm, so this is where I'm at here, as theories go. So first game we lost, we played with his deck. First game we lost, and then second game we won. So we're back with to 50. our decks. I, mine was heavily modified. And we no, dealt, no, no, no. We killed I'm, him I'm, on turn I'm, three. This more, I'm talking about this session. Oh, got it. We played his deck exactly the way he played it or exactly the way he built it. And we did 50 50. That's, that's where my math is. Right. So I'm like, all right, let's reset. And then we did 50 50. So again, I think if we played a couple more times, encounter cards fall differently. Again, we didn't get the extra damage at the end. Uh, because again, if I get that rogue vessel, I'm out. I yep. was out with my one health. So again, there's a lot of factors that change. But I think we, we did pretty good. Again, yeah, but I mean, I it, get... is, it is Star-Lord's style. Like, he's just taking all those encounter cards and playing those sliding shots. It's not really, like, playing around it. It's playing into it. The big difference yeah. is just removing more threat and doing more control and not getting, like, maximum encounter cards. Although I think we did. But only when it, only when it served a really good purpose. Yeah. Only when it was like, okay, so I can remove, you can stun him now. So we're, we're removing an activation. The other huge difference is we never drew an overkill. We never, we blocked every time and never had we overkill. Did, we saw those three lieutenant, those three privates at the end. Yeah, plus fanaticism came out late. So those are, those are things to watch for. But I have to say we almost scooped with the armor, but we played through it and we beat him. Yeah. So that was good. Yeah, because again, we ha we had these weird turns where we're like, ah, what are we doing? Yeah, so and I didn't realize that multitasking is a punch. I thought multitasking was a mental. You need a mental to play it, but it's a punch card, so it's a good include with Hulk. Yeah, because then you're like, oh, okay, I can I can get into that. That that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So cool, man. So uh, thanks so much. We we actually beat Ronan Expert on camera. There you go. And then the only thing we would need now is to do it with a, like a campaign zone, but you're going to have to find another channel to join you there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we did beat the game as we stepped into the portal. So there you go. Nice. All right. There you go. So that was, that was, again, I was, it's always fun to play with you. And uh, like I said, it's, I, I, I enjoy the, the friendship that we developed over the, uh, over this game, which is, I, I think it's one of the, the fun things, even though we're a thousand miles apart, we're still uh, <laughs> we're like 300 I'm, I'm, miles apart, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it 100 miles? No, we're more than Three, that. I think about 300. 300 miles? Yeah, because you're in with, yeah, I think it's a six hour drive. I think we looked it up, right? Six, right. six hour drive yeah. to get to where you live? Yeah. Right. That's cool. Anyway, guys, so it is doable. Ronin is doable. It's, yeah, oh, yeah. But again, I think doable. you and I both agree. It's, it's, it's a very annoying problem that right. kind of does suck the fun. It, it, like I said, right now I'm in a feel joy moment. Like, yeah, we jumped out rolling, <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, it's, it's just, there's so, you, you know, like you said, we, I mean, we played, what, is this over two days? We played eight times or something. Yeah. So, I mean, we got two wins in that. Um, and even when you get the win, you're like, okay, we have it if he doesn't draw bad cards, yeah. which is very standard in this game, but it's pretty often that even it's like, oh, he drew the really bad card and we're okay. I mean, Shadow of the Past or whatever, and you just yeah. play through. But with him, you just never know. Like, uh, you stand accused or something could have beat us. I don't know. But 
The yeah, Milano canceling I, things is definitely good. The paying a resource is rough. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, there's no doubt that dealing the damage in four turns is rushing. I was just think I'm just so used to rushing being two or three turn wins. Four turns sounds like a stroll in the park, but it's not. You're putting yeah. a lot of damage in, but it is interesting how you're spreading damage and threat removal between both of them because the 86 damage is there. It's just yeah. there in their cards as long as you're playing your sliding shots, you know, at pretty good at a pretty good clip, nine and eleven each. Um, yeah. But losing that, that gun was blow. losing that gun is game over almost. Yeah, like, yeah. If you get that too early, you can't play. Yeah, it. We, you lost it on the last turn, right? La yeah, the last game. Yeah, I, that's where I Blaze lost of the Glory gun. makes a difference because now you don't need sliding shot. You need Blaze of Glory because I had those three out and I was able to put those three allies again you didn't get the benefit from it but because we saved our cards properly we, we we were in it and then he was attacking you first so that cross counter had the last bit of damage we needed too yeah if we, but that fanaticism might have killed you <laughs> yeah no it would have been tricky what is the timing on that do i cross counter block the damage deal the damage then if die you survive. if you survive oh it's if i survive uh, wait, wait. So no, you prevent. Actually, no. You you actually. I think I prevent. prevent. Deal the damage. So if he had two health left, it would have been a. He <gasps> would be fine. <laughs> <That's> Safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man. That, oh, that was good. Are you done recording? Yep.